to download, install and use Cisco Packet Tracer on Windows computer without having NetAcad account. Go to your Google Chrome browser. In search type web link. I will give you this link in description. Just copy this link and paste it in address bar and then browse. Accessed in the website and here you will find Cisco Packet Tracer exe files. You will directly download Cisco Packet Tracer application without login into NetAcad account. Here you will find Cisco Packet Tracer 8.2.2 for 32 bit, the first one, and second one for 64 bit operating system. Click on second one to download Cisco Packet Tracer for 64 bit operating system and it's 8.2.2. Click on it and here the download is started. This will not ask you to log in into NetAcad account. After completing download, you need to install Cisco Packet Tracer. This is the Cisco Packet Tracer 8.2.2 for 64 bit operating system. Now I'm going to install this application. Right click on the application and click on run as administrator and then click on I accept the agreement click on next you can change the installation location to do so click on browse and select the location I want to install in the default location click on next then next next and then click on install the Cisco packet tracer 8.2.2 is installing right now installation finished now click on finish would you like to run multi-user when application starts? Click on yes. Cisco Packet Tracer is starting. You can select public network and private network also and click on allow access. But unfortunately, you cannot access to the Cisco Packet Tracer without having NetAcad account. Now I am going to show you the technique how to use Cisco Packet Tracer without NetAcad account. Close Cisco Packet Tracer. Click on OK. Disconnect internet. Internet is disconnected right now. And this is the Cisco Packet Tracer. Now open Cisco Packet Tracer. It's not asking me to log in with NetAcad account. Now you can connect internet. And you can easily use packet tracer for your networking practice this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much